Welcome to Coffee with Biking. I am Mike. Cheers. Second Timothy chapters 3 and 4. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are go that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. <coughs> For of the, this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janus and Jamber Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which come unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, at Lystra, what, perse what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution, but evil men and seducers shall wax worth shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make the the wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god may be perfect through Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, re Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou into all things, endure affliction, do not endure affliction do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry for i am now ready to be or for i am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand i have fought the good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge shall give me at, 
that day and not to me only but unto all them also that love his appearing do they do thy diligence to come shortly unto me for Damas hath forsaken me having loved his present world having loved this present world and it, and is departed unto the Salonica Cretans and Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. And Tychicus have I sent to Ephesus the cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, with thou comest, bring with thee in the books, but especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works, of whom be thou where also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer, no man stood with me. But all men forsook me, I pray God that it may be it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be the to whom be glory for ever and ever amen salute prisca and aquila in the household of ani forus eurastus abode at corinth but Tro tropimus have i left at Militum sick, do thy diligence to come before winter. Eubulus gre greeteth thee, and Pudens and Linus and Claudia and all the brethren. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And have a blessed and wonderful day.